Hi, this is Dr. Justin here. And today's talk is helping our patients understand blood sugar stability. It's one of the most important concepts, especially as you're transitioning to an anti-inflammatory healing diet, is really stabilizing blood sugar. So you're going to see some couple of pictures come up during the presentation here just to kind of help elaborate on some of the uh, mechanisms and the concepts that I'm discussing here. So the first thing first is when our blood sugar goes erratic, we tend to have this roller coaster effect. Blood sugar tends to shoot up and then blood sugar, like at the top of the roller coaster, then falls down. So when blood sugar shoots up, we're in an insulin resistance we're making more insulin, we're starting to create more fat um, kind of state. Maybe for a half hour to an hour, maybe be bouncing off the walls and have extra energy, but shortly after, again, we're crashing, our head's down on our desk at work, we're just feeling more fatigued. Then we go into this more hypo or low blood sugar kind of state, where our body's using and making more adrenaline and more cortisol to help bring blood sugar back up. We may kind of have this tired but wired kind of feeling, maybe a little bit of jittery, jitteriness, maybe a little bit of anxiety. Uh, and again, as cortisol and adrenaline stays high to bring it back up, we'll be burning muscle as well. So we become fatter and flabbier all at the same time. So the solution really is eating high quality, nutrient dense, protein, fats, and carbohydrate sources every three to five hours to keep our blood sugar stable so we, we are in the fat burning zone throughout the day burning fat. So this is a core concept we like all patients to understand. And it's important to know it takes about one to two weeks to shift your metabolism. And what that means is your body essentially is probably burning more carbohydrate and more glucose for fuel. So as you stop providing all that carbohydrate and glucose, your body's going to feel like it's starving. It may, you may have cravings, you may have fatigue. That's normal. But again, that will pass because your body will transition and start burning more fat for fuel as you continue to, to stay coarse with the program. I hope this information was helpful. Feel free and, and call or email the office with any questions. Thanks. Have a great day.